Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today we're going to be doing a review on this particularly unique timepiece. I'm going to post a link in the description on where you can get this timepiece, and you will not believe the price that I got this watch for. This watch, as you, if you haven't noticed already, is completely unique. A watch that I have never seen before, and I am completely fascinated by it. As you can see, the numerals are completely backwards, otherwise known as counterclockwise. So is the second hand. It runs completely counterclockwise along with the minute and hour hands. Just in case you can't figure out what time it is, let's take a regular watch and show you that you're just basically looking at a mirror image. Pretty cool, huh? Let's dive into some specs, shall we? All right, so let's just dive into some specs before we get into some of the finer details. Um, first and foremost, um, setting the time in this watch is not the easiest thing to do um, because, as you can see, the crown is pretty recessed into the case and they only give you like this little tiny gap right there. And my finger is much wider than that. So in order for me to set the time, it's literally... There we go. Finally got it, but it takes a while, guys. And then you just adjust it. But the crown is my one of my few complaints of this watch. So just an FYI there. But if you have little tiny fingernails, you might be okay. So let's do the specs. The specs are as follows. We have it zeroed out. So our case diameter measures in at right at a 38 millimeters, as you can see right here. The case thickness is right at a 10 millimeter. So not too thick, but it's a quartz movement, so it's as expected. And the lug thickness, we can see it is indeed a 20 millimeter, because they put a 20, this is the stock band. And if we measure it from lug to lug, to see how it would fit on the wrist, we are looking at right at a 45 millimeter. Okay. So, and just just to double check our our math on the the width and we're looking at indeed a 20 millimeter all right so guys let's take a look at the detail of this watch as I bring it back and forth in the lighting you can see it has a beautiful textured dial with a really nice looking pattern okay it's not too much and it's not too little it looks a lot better than a flat dial and it gives the dial some depth so I really appreciate it especially at this price point then we take a look at the second, hour, and minute hands, and they're all done. Look at that. It's done in an electric blue. How cool is that? And then we have this extra detail of a circle at the end of the second hand, and also they have an arrow tip. Again, added details. And when you add these kind of details, it typically means added cost. The other thing that's an added cost is indeed when you look at applied numerals. So these numerals are not printed on the dial. So when you have a textured dial the way we have here, um, printing the numerals would not be, would, it just wouldn't look good unless they left this untextured here. So they made the dial completely textured and they applied these numerals, which is a premium. Time flyback is printed on and you can see where they left a little bit of, of the dial there untextured. And then they applied the quartz logo there as well. 
So another feature that I'm impressed by is the fact that this watch does have a chapter ring and it is of different texture so it actually adds a lot of depth to the dial. Again, it makes the dial look more premium because I've seen watches that cost a heck of a lot more than this particular watch that has a very flat looking dial. So the fact that they add these details to this watch at under $40 to me is just it's a bargain and it's a bonus. We take a look at the leather strap. This is the leather strap that comes with the watch. Here's the buckle. Um, the only thing about this buckle is this, this piece here um, is a little wobbly, but again, guys, you're looking at a price point that's really not that expensive. And at the price point that we bought this watch at, you I've seen straps that cost almost as much as the entire cost of this watch okay now this is genuine leather as you can see here and there is already some type of like wrinkling of this piece here um, the underneath now this may not be leather but all I really care about is what's going on out here and as I can see that this is definitely uh, looking just fine so um, no issues there. The case itself is high polish and it is indeed a fingerprint magnet. Now when you look at more premium watches you definitely expect to have some brushing in areas and some polishing to add even more depth but at this price point you're gonna see polishing or you're just gonna see brushing. Um, you don't typically see well, you don't even typically see brushing at this price point. So um, as expected, you do have a coin edge on the crown and there is no detail at the edge. There is no markings in the back of the case back. This gives you guys a great opportunity to have this etched and put some type of message back here and would make a perfect gift. So. And the fact that this is under $40, this is a completely affordable gift. And let me tell you, I've had this watch only for a few weeks, and I've already gotten more compliments than I've gotten on a Breitling, which any watch connoisseur will know costs a heck of a lot more money. So coming from a guy who's not a watch snob, I don't mind wearing watches that are $40, and I don't mind wearing watches that are a couple thousand dollars um, it's all on what you like and let me tell you you don't need to wear an expensive watch to get attention if that's what you're looking for so let's take a look at the time flyback on the wrist so as we mentioned this is a 38 millimeter watch and it actually fits true to size. I think this watch wears perfect on the wrist. I think it looks premium. Um, you know, I don't think it looks like a thousand dollar watch, but it doesn't look like a forty dollar uh, or under watch, that's for sure. Um, this watch has quality far beyond my expectations at this price point. So guys, link below if you're looking for a unique timepiece for yourself and it makes an incredible gift. So yeah, this watch definitely would make a fantastic gift. It's definitely a conversation starter, icebreaker at parties, at, you know, even at you know, a department meeting at work. Um, someone's gonna see you wearing this, and I mean, this is definitely going to strike up some conversation. So if you're that type of person that likes unique items, I mean, this is definitely this definitely fits the bill. So. And we take a look at it next to a regular timepiece. As we can see, they're both the same time. It's just, it's so cool. Um, I really am enjoying this piece. It's gonna stay in my collection. And this is definitely the watch that I'm gonna wanna give as gifts to others. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Click the link below if you're interested in buying one. And always remember, there's always time to be kind to one another. Take care of each other, and I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews.